What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Before we get started, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. I'm throwing that little bar in every video, as you guys know. In today's episode, super exciting, we're going to get to another piece of glass. This is a $2,000 teddy bear. I absolutely love it. This is actually the piece that started my entire glass collection, so I'm really hyped to get into it. It's made by Sherlock Holmes and Sherbet Glass, and with that, let's get into the $2,000 teddy bear. All right, guys, so we're going to do close-ups. We're going to do macros and all of that stuff. But first, just wanted to let's see if that camera will focus. There we go. This is the teddy bear. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite pieces of glass in my entire collection. And uh, I got this piece in 2016 at, uh, I believe, Elevate or Elevate. I think it's Elevate. Elevate or Elevations Gallery down in uh, Colorado Springs. And uh, it was the first piece that, you know, I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to spend a little bit of money on that I felt like I was ready and just wanted to do it and I just fell in love with the piece I thought it was super sick as you guys know from watching the channel I have a thing for bears I think they're badass I love bears I collect bear bricks I got a neat old school beanie baby right here I got the thousand percents got a lot of bears at the crib I love bears so I felt that uh, that this uh, Sherlock Holmes teddy bear was just really, really sick, and when I saw it at the gallery, it just like immediately kind of made an impression on me, and I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta go grab this, I gotta have it. So um, to give you guys a little bit more background, it's made by Sherlock Holmes and Sherbet. Sherbet is uh, very well known, and you'll get close-ups again. But this is a glass uh, pencil. It looks like you know a writable, usable pencil, but it's actually a piece of glass by Sherbet. So Sherbet makes really fun accessories and stuff like that. So what they did here was Sherlock Holmes who is obviously well known for making, let's see, camera focus, there we go, um, who is well known for making his teddy bears, they did a little micro collaboration here and they threw the pencil in, just kind of like, it looks like to me he's like carrying like a machine gun, but it's not a machine gun, it's a pencil, so I just think it's, I just think it's badass. And uh, again, when I saw it, I just loved it. And so if you guys are tuning in, hopefully you guys, you know, you like art, you appreciate art in some way, shape, or form, whether you collect glass or not, and uh, hopefully this episode and all of the episodes are, you know, a little bit informative in some type of way for you guys. But this teddy bear, in my mind, is so cool, and obviously I'll get, um, we'll get macros, as I said, and be able to show you really a close-up of what it looks like. But really what makes this teddy bear so cool is that it's made up of stacked milli chips. So if you guys don't know what a milli chip is, it's basically a section of glass cane that artists can really turn into all kinds of designs and styles and stuff like that and then that gets pulled out into a cane of glass and then that gets sliced into these little coins that are these little glass coins basically and then once it's in that form of a marini chip the artist can then stack them into various pieces so that's basically what Sherlock did here he took the milli chips of this blue just circular it's a nice just simple marini pull and then he stacked them together to make the shape of the bear and I just think it gives it another layer and it's just really really cool so just a little bit of milli info uh, on I guess uh, in this video and then now uh, let's get into the close-ups I'm sure you guys want to see what it looks like and then uh, maybe we'll also show a little bit of water function as well a little later on but let's uh, let's get into it all right guys so real quick I know I've said that we're gonna get into the close-ups in the macros like two or three times already but this is a really special piece of glass for me um, it basically helped kick off you know a lot of my work within the glass industry because not only did I start obviously collecting more but then after buying this I was introduced to Sherlock uh, and his dad Darby and then began collecting Darby's work and I was able to write articles in THC magazine about both of those artists as well as dozens of other artists and um, really this piece will always have like a really just special place uh, in my collection and just like in my heart Sherlock actually you guys can't see it but on the bottom of this piece you well, you can see some of the Marini and just the different uh, way the glass is shaped on the bottom but there's a little message written to me just signed to me on the bottom which is super super cool and again it's a 2016 bear so just a little bit of personal um, I guess just memories with it I absolutely love the piece and really my entire glass collection started with this bear so now we will get into the macros let's get it so if you guys are interested in seeing kind of what uh, what it looks like when Sherlock is kind of working on his pieces, uh, in the next like little clip right here, I'm going to include uh, a little bit of maybe some video footage and a couple photos of him on the torch blowing glass so you guys can really kind of see what it looks like while he is working on a piece like this. 
There we go. The camera likes to focus slow today, but get you guys uh, some behind the scenes and like really what it looks like when he's working on a piece like that. So you can kind of get some context and really what it looks like. And then also, if you guys haven't seen the vlog on my channel, the behind the scenes vlog at Everdream, I'll toss that in right here. That's a really, uh, I guess, longer form, really true behind the scenes video of kind of what it's like to see some of these pieces get created. And that might be really fun for you guys to watch if you guys are interested in glass. So maybe check that out. So with that, uh, let's get into the piece again. Alright guys, so before we do the full macro, I wanted to do just a little close-up kind of solo feature of the piece to really show you what it looks like. And again, really hit those comments. What do you think? Have you guys ever seen a glass bear like this? There are a couple artists out there in the glass scene that make uh, that make bears, including Coil. Shout out to Coil. Uh, but Sherlock is really, uh, he's one of my favorites, and I just love just the classic, uh, really just the classicness really of the, of the way that they look. You know, they're not too complex. They're not too over the top. They're just really simple, really happy characters, and I think they're really badass. They're also known as Hetty Teddies. So if you guys are out there looking like on Instagram or whatever, you can look for like the hashtag Hetty Teddy, and I'm pretty sure like some of his work some of these bears will pop up so with that take a look at just the way it looks kind of in a full 360 so let's start at the start right at right at the beginning right up right up front and uh, you can really see the chips and again we'll see that closer in the macro but all of these individual spots all along the whole piece are all separate marini chips so this is the front and now let's just do a nice little 360 maybe I'll cue some music now had to move through the slime hey everybody knows my time hey everybody know the state mine on your way out grab a coat or some everyone here know that the whole shit done if you used to drop watch your whole shit come ding dong ping pong I'm a hole in one man I seen a dude chose and I hope it's fun I murder everybody by five and get some bowling done I ain't leaving nobody alive and I'm the chosen one so this is one of my favorite pieces and actually you guys can't even tell I can't even tell but a few a couple years ago I actually broke the eraser off of this piece I was bringing it with me to the studio and the case that I was carrying it in fell out of my car and when the case fell out of my car it obviously hit the ground and the back end of the eraser right here cracked off so big shout out to Nate of the big homie Nathan Myers he uh, he did the repair for me and uh, absolutely killed it and uh, you can't even tell that the eraser was ever broke so that's also another really interesting thing about glass work depending on the severity or the intensity of a break you can actually repair pieces back to basically brand new perfect condition which I think is pretty sick as well so next let's get into the macro let's do it alright guys so here we go here is the macro of the teddy bear so it'll really give you guys a real nice close-up and really a great idea of what it looks like so on that top uh, on the top of the head we have the marini chips as you can see kind of towards that top of the mouthpiece and then we have some caramel uh, that's that color that he used kind of on the bears face I'm pretty sure that's caramel uh, Caleb if you see this and that's wrong please let me know um, so here we go down the bear there you can see the tip of the pencil and then you can also see the colors and the fume on the arms and then you can see the chips right there so all of those little cells those little blocks are each marini chips that were stacked to create the bear so I just I love it I think it's really really badass I love the colors I love that it's holding the pencil let me uh, let me pause the tripod right here and show you guys the back real quick all right guys, so this is kind of like the side of the bear's head and then the back side of the bear and then there's the eraser that I referenced in that other clip that actually broke off and you can't even tell, the repair is perfect. And there's a really good example of what the chips look like. So those single kind of cells right there, boom, 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 all over, are stacked together one by one to really create the piece. So it's super fun, I love it, I just think that uh, Bears are just good vibes, you know, I think they're uh, they're fun animals. So what do you guys think? Hit the comments. Much love. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode on the channel. If you guys would do me a huge favor, it really helps me grow the community of people talking about art who enjoy collecting and viewing and just talking about why they collect art and just the pieces that they love. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. And also, what do you guys think? I want to, uh, again, in every video, talk to everybody about every single piece that I'm trying to showcase. What do you guys think? Have you ever seen a glass teddy bear? Would you ever spend $2,000 on a glass teddy bear? Do you think it's fucking stupid? Do you think it's really cool? Do you think it's sick? I mean. 
have you ever seen something like this? Really, just uh, hit the comments with uh, with any feedback on what you guys think of the piece. It's made by Sherlock Holmes and Sherbet, and it's really one of my favorite pieces in my collection. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Until next time, peace. Hey, I'll grab a coat or some. Everyone here know that the whole shit done. If you used to drop, watch the whole shit come. Ding dong, ping pong, I'm a hole in one. Man, I seen a dude shows and I hope it's fun. I murder everybody by five and get some bowling done. I ain't